Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's okay today. On our prayer request today, uh, Louise is having surgery May 14th. Pray all goes well and for a speedy recovery. Pray for Regina. She's having bad anxiety issues. Uh, Stephen Lawson is seeing a surgeon to have more surgery on his left foot due to a non-healing wound. Pray everything goes well and for a quick recovery. Pray for Angela that her and her pets find a home real soon. Kiki and her parents are doing some better. Uh, pray that they all that they get all better. Kim W's mom is getting better day by day. Pray for Jill Bird. She's so congested and she can't hardly breathe. Pray for Rhonda's friend Kimberly. Uh, or yeah, Rhonda's friend Kimberly is out of the hospital but not doing good. Her blood count is real low. Pray it goes up and she feels better. Pray for Lorena and her family. They have an unspoken request. Lucia's niece is doing better and was released from the hospital. Her baby boy is still there. Pray he gets better and thanks to the Ronald McDonald house for making her for taking in her niece uh, while she's there. I gotta write that in there. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day comes from Hebrews 11, 39 through 12, 3. These were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. Since God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And, let's, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such, oper such opposition from sinner sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. All right, and our devotion today is entitled, Running for What Matters. It was impossible not to tear up at my friend Ira's status update. Posted in 2022, only days after she left her home in Kiev, the besieged capital of Ukraine, she shared a past image of herself lifting her country's flag after completing a running event. She wrote, we are, all, we are all running to the best of our abilities a marathon called life. Let's run it these days and even better than that with something that never dies in our hearts. In the following days, I saw the many ways my friend continued to run that race as she kept us updated on how to pray for and support those suffering in her country. Ira's words, brought new depth to the call in Hebrews 12 for believers to run with perseverance. That call follows chapter 11's moving account of the heroes of faith, the great cloud of witnesses who lived with courageous, persistent faith, even at risk to their lives. Even though they only saw and welcomed God's promises from a distance, they were living for something eternal, for something that never dies. All believers in Jesus are called to live that same way because the shalom, the flourishing and peace of God's kingdom is worth giving our all for. Christ's example and power is what sustains us. What examples have you seen of courageous faith? How does Jesus' Jesus's example give you hope? Dear God, Words fail me when I see your people's faith and courage in heartbreaking circumstances. Give me the courage to follow you like that. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. 
I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer requests and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a fantastic morning. I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.